it's pop and perch time everyone sun is going down it's still pretty warm out here and the wind wind is starting to settle down as well so it's time to use some top water right here the pop and perch currently using the pumpkin seed pattern it's a great way to mimic pumpkin seed sunfish and there's plenty of them over here and it's also a great way to mimic bluegills another bait fish and there's a lot of bluegills around here as well so I'm just gonna fish it nice and slow see if I can get a reaction with the pop and perch oh right there you guys as soon as it fell as soon as it hit the water bass number one on the popping perch let's go he just slurped it right down but that, that was awesome <laughs> oh yeah I'll take him let's go you guys oh I've been looking for a good oh, this is a good bass too on the popping perch let's go <laughs> Yes, awesome, you guys. Bass number one. Oh, this is perfect, you guys. Uh, bass number one, first bass on the popping perch right there. I love it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put him back. This is a good bass. Whew, put up a good fight right there along the bank. Just slurped it right down. It wasn't even a, a big explosion, but I'll take it, you guys. I'll take it. Let's keep going. I might have to continue this tomorrow, but this is a really good start. Alrighty guys, that was a good start to the video. It's bass number one. It was just right over here. Just shortly after the lure landed on the water. I didn't have to pop it and just he just slurped it right down. That was a good bass too. Bigger than I thought too. I thought he was smaller, but no, he he I felt the fight, saw the body, you know, obviously landed the fish. It was a that was a really good bass on this lure, you guys. That's, that's what this lure is, is uh, known for. It's what it's meant for. So let's keep going down. Let's go further again. Right there. Under the trees. The branches. Oh! My gosh. Oh, back to back bass, guys. Wow. Back to back on the pop and perch. That was a good explosion, though. Oh, he destroyed that. Let's go. Woohoo. Bass number two. Oh, he destroyed that, you guys. Now, now they're coming out to play right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, I got you good, buddy. Let me, let me just get you unhooked right here, real quick. Oh, man, he destroyed that little guy. Awesome, you guys. Bass number two on the popping perch. Pumpkin seed, you guys. They're Maybe they're chasing the pumpkin seed sunfish, but let's keep going. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give my nice review on this lure at the end of the video, but so far we're at two healthy bass. The first one was really good and definitely the best bass on the popping perch. And the second one, he was, he was definitely the smallest one so far out of the two, but he had a nice explosion. But right here, you guys, right here in the pumpkin seed sunfish pattern, great way to mimic sunfish and even bluegills. But looks like the bass are going for it though, which is good. Just right along the bank right here. It's getting a little windy. It might start raining in a bit, but so far we're looking good on the popping perch. I'm liking it a lot. It has a really good plopping sound. You can walk it pretty good too. The walking's really nice as well. Let's go ahead and try it out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and walk it over here. We're just gonna go right there, let it settle down. Just oh yeah, just walk it back like it's a walking, like it's a pop, you know, a frog walking, popping frog. Just how it kind of zigzags, looks really nice. I like that a lot. So this is definitely another versatile topwater lure. You can walk it and you can pop it, or you can do both, which is really nice. So I like that a lot. This is a really good lure. All right, I think it's gonna rain pretty soon because. The wind is starting to pick up and it's starting to get pretty cloudy. So far, two bass on the popping perch, pumpkin seed pattern. It's walking again. Like what I said before, like it's walking action and presentation. It's really nice. Go a little slow right here. Let's 
right by this brush. That'd be nice if you get a blow up. <laughs> Just right along here. I mean, I've definitely caught a lot of bass on creature style baits over here with the prawn, uh, the brush hog and all. I want to catch more on the pop and perch right here, everyone. I want to catch more. Alright you guys, it's my last cast for the evening. Go ahead and head home after this. It was a pretty solid video. It was pretty short and I was only out here for a short period of time for this evening, but you know, like what I said, I thought it was pretty successful. Did catch about two solid healthy bass on the popping perch, pumpkin seed pattern. And yeah, you guys, just for my final review, I do like how it works, the presentation, the you know, just the overall lure. As it has a really solid uh popping plopping uh, motion presentation you know for a top water popping lure um it's pretty much like another hula popper and scum frog popper when it comes to like the when it comes to the noise the plopping sound that it makes the way it spits out water which is really good for all brands and all it's really good for striking but what i, what I do like about this lure to make it nice and versatile just like a regular top water popping frog you can you can walk it as well in fact uh just one more cast to do a demonstration real fast See, so you can walk it as really nice walking zigzag motion, you know, left, right. Great way to mimic a dying, escaping, a bait fish, you know. It depends on the pattern. You can mimic shad, sunfish, and bluegills. But uh, this is, like I said, a great way to mimic a, you know, dying bait fish, dying panel fish. And those two bass definitely took advantage, you guys. They heard the plopping, they saw the presentation, and boom, took advantage right there. But anyways, you guys, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I, I did have fun catching two good bass on this popping perch on the a full size. The official full size right here. Like I said, you guys, this is an awesome lure. I give it a good 10 out of 10. This is definitely something that you want to use like right now. You know, as the, as the weather and the water starts to warm up, the late spring, summertime lure in the early morning and the late evenings, definitely recommend using this lure. I'm definitely going to use this in, in future videos. I might even use this for, for my next video that I'm going to start tomorrow morning, hopefully. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is an awesome lure. It's definitely become one of my favorite top order lures right now. Top order frog style lures. This is great, you guys. But uh, like I said, I'm definitely going to use it again in the future coming up. Might start another video tomorrow. Probably will, you guys, but uh, since it's been a while since I last posted. But like I said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great evening. Take care now.